quote, not an accurate reflection of what happened. I asked why he appeared virtually uh, rather than in person. And here's what his defense attorney said. So you guys, I want to bring out this video on Mikey Williams and talk about a few things such as his court situation and also give y'all an update on what's been going on with him. So we all know Mikey is currently facing five charges of assault with a weapon and also one count of firing into an occupied vehicle, which could lead up to 28 years in prison if he's convicted on all counts, which is honestly insane. If you guys are not informed, while Mikey was in court today, he was facing the Superior Court judge whose name is Judge Lewis R. Handian while appearing on a video conference for his arrangement. So throughout the conference, Mikey's attorney, who is Troy P. Owens, entered pleas of not guilty on his behalf, which is good. Mikey also spoke to the judge only a few times by answering yes sir when asked if he understood his rights and also told he couldn't possess guns or ammunition as a condition of remaining free on a $50,000 bond. And on top of that, at the prosecution's request, the court issued protective orders for the five individuals that were involved in the incident, including three minors as well, that were in the car that night when Mikey was accused of firing into the Tesla on March the 27th. Mikey was also ordered to stay at least 100 yards from the individuals and not contact or threaten them. So as you can see, the judge have a big restriction on Mikey for this ongoing case which I don't see the reason on why he would even contact or threaten them because Mikey see how serious this situation is and he's definitely not trying to make it worse. So if you guys do not know, Mikey's attorney made a statement after the brief hearing that he requested for Mikey to appear on video conference because of threats that are public and online and he also declined to give further details. So I'm not sure on what threats he's talking about because we all know Mikey already deactivated his Instagram, but maybe he's talking about some of the comments that people are making definitely on YouTube. I know when I was talking about Mikey and JJ Taylor situation for two videos in a row, a lot of people were giving their opinions on that. So I'm not sure. Maybe he's talking about that, including other content creators making videos talking about Mikey Williams situation as well. So Mikey's attorney clearly was scared for him to physically appear to the court, which is understandable because we all know how people can get definitely after knowing on what Mikey did and on top of that for the victims we're not sure on what type of people they know as well so I don't blame his attorney for wanting Mikey to be on a video conference just to keep him safe so Mikey will be represented by the same attorney for his next hearing which is a reading this hearing on June the 15th and he also was ordered to be personally present for the preliminary hearing that's scheduled on June the 29th and when you read the court statement on what happened that night it says on March the 27th the shooting happened at the $1.2 million house where Mikey stays in eastern San Diego County. And they claimed that an argument just before midnight ended with gunshots being fired at a car, which was a white Tesla that was leaving the house with five passengers inside of it. And I was also personally told that they didn't even get past the driveway and were there for only like three minutes. The San Diego County Sheriff's Department also said in a news release, bullets hit the car, but nobody inside was injured. The shooting was reported to authorities the next day, which led officers to send a search warrant for Mikey Williams on April the 13th. The University of Memphis head coach Penny Hardaway spoke on the case as well due to Mikey Williams' situation. But the thing is, at first, he didn't want to speak on the case out of respect for the ongoing process on what's happening. And he also included by saying, I mean, I'm going to continue to recruit. As of right now, Mikey is still with us. So that's how I have to keep it until otherwise. Coach Hardaway also added by saying, that's why I say I can't really speak on the case. Nothing has happened thus far. So he is clearly just staying positive and neutral on what's going on with Mikey Williams situation. And in my opinion, it's good that he said that Mikey is still with them, which means he still supports Mikey. And it seems like the University of Memphis is still on Mikey's side until this whole case get resolved. And just to let y'all know, someone ended up sending me a DM that Mikey's sister Sky ended up speaking out on JJ Taylor, turning his back on Mikey as well. So the thing is, I believe she made a post talking about the situation, but ended up deleting it. And when someone sent it to me, I ended up reading it too late because by the time I read it, the post was already gone. And I asked them on what did she say? And the person responded to me by saying it was someone like it's sometimes the closest friend that turned their back, something like that. So it seems like she was talking about her brother and JJ Taylor's situation and I wish I would have saw her actual post 
just because I wanted to see on what she really said. But like that person said, it seemed like that she was talking about that situation. So I don't blame her at all just because it is her brother and she always going to stand beside him no matter what. And even for Mikey's other sister, which I did not know he had, her name is Adrian Williams. She made a comment on my last video that was titled JJ Taylor snitched on Mikey Williams. And she said, a lot of y'all got it wrong, but I guess this isn't the worst narrative I've seen on my little brother yet. So that is very interesting. Just to remind y'all, for that video, I was just explaining to y'all on the information I received from the victims. So I don't know on what exactly happened that night. I was just explaining to y'all on all the information that I was receiving. And to remind y'all, just recently, ESPN dropped their new Class of 2023 rankings. And guess what? Mikey Williams fell to 46, which is 12 more rankings down because he was just ranked 34th. So you already know, Mikey was going to be mad regardless, even though he probably don't care right now because he got a lot more other serious stuff going on. But Mikey has been speaking out on his ESPN rankings ever since he was a freshman in high school because he used to be ranked top three. And every single year he has got D ranked. And now for his senior year, he's currently ranked 46. So he got D ranked 43 times throughout his entire high school career. And I forgot, just to remind y'all, when he was in 8th grade, he was actually ranked number one in his class. But once he entered high school, that's when they dropped him to third, and he has been declining ever since. So that is crazy. Like, I can't even lie. And on top of that, he hasn't got invited to the Jordan Brand Classic, including the Allen Iverson Classic. And on top of that, the Ballers Life All-American Game. He probably would have got invited to the Ballers Life All-American Game and maybe the Allen Iverson Classic, but he just recently got in trouble. So you already know all of that is dead for him right now, which really do suck because he missed all of the big events for his senior year. Like, dang, Mikey, I already know he's going through it for real. He's facing a judge before graduation to determine if he's going to get time or not, which I hope he don't. And on top of that, now that he's a senior, he already missed all of the big events. The good thing is Mikey already traveled the world throughout his entire high school career. Mostly thanks to Puma flying him on private jets. He's been going to All-Star Weekend every single year, going to different events and all types of stuff. So Mikey really experienced a lot already throughout his high school career. Mikey got way too much going on to just fumble with. If you guys do not know, he is literally the youngest athlete to sign with Puma. So he literally made history and look at the situation he's in. You know what I mean? It's really unreal. But I hope he can get out the situation. It seems like he really do got a good lawyer just off the fact that his lawyer didn't even want him to appear to court physically. That's why he was on video conference. And that just shows that his lawyer actually care about his well-being and don't want nothing to happen to him because he see that everybody is talking about this whole situation. And he just want to make sure that Mikey is safe. So I 100% understand that. But I believe for Mikey's next court hearing, he's going to have to appear to court physically. So this is very interesting mikey you just got to keep your head up for real bro i just hate how you allowed your emotions to take advantage of you during that situation like i said i don't know exactly on what was going on during that moment but at the end of the day you should have thought about your career and what everything could happen to you and that's on what should have held you back before you made that decision i just really feel like you got too comfortable because you've been living good clearly bro you've been on private jets you got a hellcat jury all types of stuff you've been living your life and you a top player in high school so things been going real well for you but you got way too comfortable being around the certain people you was around including jj taylor and all those other guys and you just really got too comfortable bro and that's the only problem you allowed your career to slip out your hands well it's not fully out of your hands but you're literally trying to grab it back so hopefully you can grab your career back and get back on track i definitely want y'all to leave your comments and opinions below on how y'all feel about this i think you guys for watching please make sure you like subscribe make sure you press the notification bell t gang we out